It's estimated that dog lovers in the U.S. will spend close to $40 billion this year on food and treats for their pet. A big bite of that change will go to grain-free foods. But a Utah couple believes grain-free food actually killed their dog, so they contacted KSL consumer investigator Matt Gephardt. Matt? We miss her more than anything. I miss her so much. And Willow, a standard poodle, was just five years old when she died. Katerina and Mike Hicken say they were shocked. Willow had no signs that she was sick until mid-June. She started, she developed a cough. Besides her cough, you would never know. She was literally the most active, funniest, biggest personality dog. That cough turned out to be a sign of something called dilated cardiomyopathy. Willow's heart was broken which broke this family's. We had four members of our family, and now we have three. And it's not a human life that we lost, but... It feels like it. Feels I mean, like it absolutely it. feels like it. We love safe. But here's the thing. After Willow died, Katerina and Mike began looking into it and found a common denominator between their dog's death and the death of many others all over the country. Grain-free dog food. Why were you doing grain-free in the first place? Because it was healthier. It was organic, grain-free. It literally, in my head, it was, it, it's probably healthier. Now, heart disease can be hereditary in dogs, so Katerina and Mike say they checked with Willow's breeder. Is there anything in her bloodline that would indicate that she could have genetically gotten this? And all of them said, said no. no. And after spending a few weeks researching online, this couple is convinced. The pricier boutique dog food they were feeding Willow likely made her sick. Now they are trying to spread the word, posting their story on social media, and contacting me. We don't want to scare anyone. We want to inform everyone. You ask. KSL investigates. I took Willow's story to Utah State University's Veterinary Sciences Department, where Kara Thornton Kurth has made a career studying animal feed. She says she is not surprised by Willow's fate. There have been a number of reports that grain-free dog foods are actually leading to dilated cardiomyopathy. Some of those reports come from the FDA, which has been studying the potential link between grain-free pet food and pets getting DCM. The FDA says they have seen a spike in cases, and last year they went as far as naming 16 brands of grain-free dog food linked to sick dogs. But the FDA has stopped short of banning the pet food or even warning pet owners against buying it, writing, quote, the FDA is working with the pet food industry to better understand whether changes in ingredients, ingredient sourcing, processing, or formulation may have contributed to the development of DCM. To be completely honest with you, we don't fully understand why the grain-free dog food is contributing to this. But Thornton Kurth says it's the ingredients that are often added to grain-free dog food that may be to blame. They think that it's not the taking away the grains, but it's including other ingredients in place of the grains. So things like peas and lentils and legume seeds. Scientists are currently investigating if such legumes contribute to a deficiency of an amino acid called taurine, which is usually found in dogs with DCM. And you know, while the science is out... Kind of Do you have animals? Do you have dogs? Yeah, I have. I have two dogs. Would you feed them grain-free? No. No, I would not feed my pets, my, my dogs, grain-free dog food. I reached out to the Pet Food Institute, which represents pet food makers in Washington, to ask, are the ingredients in dog foods safe? They say yes. Millions of dogs eat and are thriving on grain-free dog food, the Institute says, and they downplayed the link, writing, quote, it is important to note that the FDA has not determined if there is a dietary link to the development of DCM and does not recommend any dietary changes based solely on the information gathered so far. Do you think this stuff should be sold in the United States? No. I do, I do not. No. Hey, you want it? Okay. Katarina and Mike know that no amount of tears or fist pounding will bring back the pet they lost, but they are sharing their story in the hopes this spares another family similar heartache. I think consumers are not educated. I had no idea what nutritional DCM was until six weeks ago. We don't want anybody to have to go through this. It's, it's the most heartbreaking, preventable tragedy that could happen.
You know, scientists I talked to while investigating this story told us that it's likely that the number of dogs who actually die of DCM is underreported because unlike with humans, when somebody dies young or unexpectedly and an autopsy is performed, that is frequently not the case with dogs. If your dog dies young or unexpectedly or of some sort of heart failure, you're encouraged to report it to the FDA. Live in Salt Lake City, Matt Gephardt, KSL 5 News.